One more step and I swear we'll get started. Today's video is about six things that you need to do before you start your YouTube channel. Over 40. Coffee time, coffee time, midday coffee time. Don't you just love coffee at 2.34 in the afternoon? <sighs> Just woke up from a meditation nap. It's something that I try to do when I'm working from home because it's amazing. And if you're over 40 like me, you realize you actually need it to survive the second half of the day. This is going to be the second video in my YouTube over 40 series. Cause the truth is you're only halfway through your whole life and that's the way that you need to look at this. So, Starting now is better than never, so let's get started. Actually, I think there's more than six, but I'm not really counting. I wanna be very cash in all of this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that's, that's how it is when you're over 40. You're like, you know, life is just casual. You know, whatever happens, happens. I'm just gonna do the work, and if it happens, it happens, and if it crashes, then it freaking crashes. But make no mistake, every step that you take is a learning lesson. It's a habit you're creating, you're learning something new, you're going to grow even if, you know, after 10 YouTube videos, you just hate this. You're gonna learn that you don't like doing it or maybe you just don't like the subject that you're talking about. So the first thing I really wanna tell people that took me three years in realizing, let's just cut to the bullshit, okay? You do not need to pick a niche, not right now at least. That was the one thing that I got hung up on for two years. And I actually started my YouTube channel October 2019 and I just did three videos and then life just kind of took over. So I didn't do anything until October 2020 after I lost my job for a second time. How fun. So with that being said, one of the things that actually finally got me going was just telling myself it's okay to call yourself a lifestyle channel. It's okay to talk about a little bit of everything and eventually you'll find something that sticks. In fact, a lot of YouTubers that start off with a niche realize, you know, months or a year into it that they that's not what they want to talk about all the time anymore. If you're a female or if you're you're a male, you realize you're not just about one thing in your life. You know, I love technology. I feel like on one hand, I could talk about tech tips all day long. On another hand, I feel like I could talk about real estate and mortgages all day because I've been in real estate for 15 years. Then, you know, I could tell you this, I don't really care to talk about mommyhood, but eventually you'll probably see me yip yapping about motherhood stuff. You know, frustrating motherhood stuff. Get off of this train of feeling stuck that you have to pick a niche. If people end up liking you for your personality, they're gonna come back for your personality, no matter what you're gonna talk about. So the second thing that I wanna discuss is the other thing that I had a problem with. I actually created a brand name called Hello Humble Home and I had everything built out and actually this YouTube channel was called Hello Humble Home. I realized I didn't even want to live up to a brand name. And I was finally coming to terms with the fact that I should just use my own personal name. For like the first three years, I wondered why the hell people were using their own personal name. I kept thinking, God, you know, your personal information's out there. What if you're trying to get a job and your employer finds out by Googling your name? That was the biggest reason why I created a brand name. And then of course, after watching a couple videos on having a brand name versus a personal brand being yourself. I just realized that the personal brand was going to fit me better because I plan on doing this until I die. It's a creative outlet for me. It's a way that, you know, I have gone to YouTube so many times in the past for support. And so I wanna give back. I wanna be a support to other people. Now let's get down to some tech setup stuff. You want to go ahead and start a brand new Gmail account with that name. That's the email address that you're going to use to open up and start all the other things that we're about to talk about. The next thing you want to do after you've created that free Gmail account is I want you to open up Google Chrome browser incognito and I want you to open up four or five separate tabs. The first tab 
go to godaddy.com. The rest of the tabs, I want you to open up Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. If you feel like you want to have a Twitter account, have a Twitter account. But here's a tip. The more social media accounts that you're on, you essentially have to keep up with those. So I wouldn't get boggled down in too many. What I would do is go ahead and secure them right now. That way you can put it on your website or in your, you know, your YouTube channel. And then later on, if you want to take additional steps to grow on that platform, you can learn all about that later. Now, the reason why you're going to open up an, an incognito and I can't even say the word is because if you do this the regular way and you go to GoDaddy or any other domain provider that you're going to purchase your domain from, they can actually detect that you're looking for a domain. What that's gonna do is that's gonna possibly drive the price up the next time you go and decide that you wanna buy that domain. You really wanna make sure that you have the domain name that you want. If you could start with just your name, make it your first, middle, and last name. That way, no one else can really get you mixed up. I know that there are a few other Alicia maps in the United States but I know that there's no other Alicia Marie map in the United States. So when you have your GoDaddy browser window open and then all the other social media accounts, what you're basically gonna do is make sure that the domain is available and then sit there and go ahead and start typing in the extension of the social media accounts that you also want. For example, Instagram.com slash Alicia Marie map. I also have Facebook.com slash Alicia Marie map. I also have pinterest.com slash Alicia Marie map. If you really want to do it right and make it the easiest way to market yourself, either in video or verbal or networking in person with people, try to get everything the exact same consistency. You can always go back later over time and add photographs, add content, change the data, whatever you need to do. But for now, you just want to secure everything. Now, the next thing that you want to do that you're definitely going to need for your website, your YouTube channel, and all your social media accounts is a cute profile picture. That's what you're going to use for every single social media account. You want your branding to be consistent. That way people can easily notice your little profile icon. Even if it's really small, they can see the consistency. Don't make your pictures different. That will confuse people. Now, the other thing you want to do before you start your YouTube channel is I need you to grab your iPhone and clear out all the junk. Just detox your phone right now with crappy photos. You know, you took 20 and only one of them came out good. Delete all the ones that you don't need. All the TikTok videos that you did that didn't come out right, delete those. You need to free up space in your phone because guess what? You're going to be using this baby. Here's something that I have been using for going on two years now, Google Photos. It is 100% free, and guess what it did? When my phone got stolen months ago, it saved me from losing thousands of memories of my son. They took my $1,200 iPhone 10, but they didn't take the memories. And this is why I believe everybody really needs to have a backup system. Now you can actually set Google photos to back up, you know, at a certain frequency per day. You don't even have to think about it. It's basically like a set it and forget it. You're going to head on over to canva.com and you're going to create yourself a free Canva account. And I want you to create a profile photo in a circle. I also want you to create a Facebook cover if you plan on having a Facebook page. And then I also want you to create a YouTube channel art image. Canva is amazing. You can get away with a lot in just their free sign up alone. I personally pay for Canva Pro because I actually do need the extra perks that come along with having Canva Pro. I have a newfound respect for celebrities. Can you imagine having to memorize lines for eight hours a day, <laughs> that's difficult. Okay, I've got my notes here. Welcome to reality of having a YouTube channel. So look, don't sweat all the other stuff that a lot of the videos are talking about. If you really wanna start this YouTube channel, you just need to have the drive to do this. You can make the process as simple as you wanna make this, or you can make it as hard as you wanna make it. And let me tell you by experience, 
I made it really hard the first two years. I had my personal excuses and then I kept having basically more and more technical difficulties. And that's because I was just trying to do way too much. If you know deep down inside that you've been wanting to do this, what are you waiting for? And even if I can only crank out one video a week, that's all I can do. Sorry. All right. This little coffee break is over. Ooh, I've got that.